What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the first episode in our coverage of City Clickers, the quintessential SimCity clone but not really. My name is Splattercat, very happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and check out a game that's actually got a lot more depth than you think it does. Like I sat down to play this game and I thought it was just going to be like a super simple city builder and actually at the end of the day it's a game that takes a fair amount of thought so without further ado let's go ahead and start a new game and I'll try and get you guys playing some City Clickers. Welcome, this is your city, build it as you see fit but remember you can only put buildings next to roads. Some buildings like houses, shops, and factories generate money, while others cost money, like water towers and infrastructure. And so you gotta keep that fine balance between chaos. Uh, for right now, we start in this little city with a house, with just one road out in front of it. Uh, let's play some roads. So you click on a spot, you click road, and then you gotta click it on out, which is why it's called City Clickers. Uh, we've started with one house right here. Uh, the rating is appalling, because they don't have water, they don't have employment, and they don't have shopping. I'm gonna build a road out in this direction so we can build our first factory. People don't like living next to factories, so you kind of want to put it on the outskirts of town so that people don't get all grumpy, and it doesn't affect how fancy things are. So there goes our factory right there. We'll drop that on in. So our first factory. Our factory needs 40 workers, and it'll start earning money as it has more and more workers. Alternatively, the other thing that we'd want to consider is a reservoir, which within 10 tiles will give people water, and that'll give us our nice little first burst of infrastructure to start building housing so we can get people moving on in. So now that we've got water and we've got ourselves employment, the only other thing that people want is people really want shops. And so I'm gonna put in a market right here. And so within four tiles, if the population is 15, that earns like a bunch of money. And then we'll drop a house right next to and we'll kind of see how this affects things. We'll also put a house right here because that's a decent spot for it. Uh, they will get things like cramped, noisy street, but we'll talk about those when we get to them. So he's all good. He is in tolerable straits right now. His rent is at $2 a day. He has no needs or complaints. These guys over here, we haven't actually gotten ourselves any people that live here yet. I'm gonna clear out this tree so that I can have a house right here too. I'm trying to get that market stocked up as soon as possible because we are bleeding money. This game does play an active time. And so you kinda wanna get moving as fast as possible with like some of the little things that earn you money. We'll drop that in right there. I'm gonna put in another road. And now that I've dropped in another road, we'll put a house right there. And we'll put a house right here. Now you might be asking yourself, Splattercat, why didn't you put a uh, why didn't you put a road or a house right there? Well, if I did that, this guy would get the cramped condition, or he would get the noisy neighborhood condition, which would make him all kinds of grumpy. And we don't want people to be grumpy. We want people to be happy so that they're spending money at our shop right here, which has already, with five shoppers, made it halfway through its deficit. And if you can get up to 15, it'll actually earn a ton of money. So let's put small housing in right here. Perfecto. And that'll put our population roughly at like 15-ish. He's all good. We've got people living there. He's all good. We've got people living there. He's all good, we got people living there. What I'm looking for right now is with the rating. So every house has a rating that goes from like intolerable all the way up to like, seriously, it goes from like squalid all the way up to excellent. And so what I'm checking for right here is if any of these houses have a rating of excellent, I wanna raise their rent is basically what it comes down to so that they're earning me more money. But if it's chilling at good right now, we don't wanna play around with that. He's at neutral, but I think he'll be all right. He's at good. So let's go ahead and add another road. Roads do cost us money on the monthly budget report, so watch out for that. But, oh, none of these houses, though, are within range of our market, which is it. Oh, it's earning money, though, so that's good. What are we down to on our daily? We're losing $14 a day, it looks like. Okay, so we're getting closer. We're getting there. Got to keep our population growing and doing our thing down here. So I'm going to build two more roads. And then I'm going to do something sneakily deekily down here so that I can turn this corner. I'm going to bulldoze that tree. I'm going to add a road right there. Then I'm going to put in a house right here. I think he's still within 10. I'm going to put in another market right there. Then I'm going to put in two houses over here. Although if I was smart, I would put a market on that corner. See what I mean? You got to think about the way things are placed in this game. Otherwise, you get yourself into trouble. And so I'll put a house right here so that he's got the bare minimum amount of customers he needs in order to earn me some money. So he's at good. We've got residents moving in. They're at good. Our factory is earning, so that's positive. That means every single new person that moves in, we will have... I'm sorry if I'm moving a little bit quickly here, but it's a game that you have to play in real time. And so unfortunately, there's not like a pause button or anything. I can right-click on a building to pause things temporarily. And so for right now, we really just want to wait for population to flow in. And then we'll kind of see where our budget ends up. Ah, we're turning a profit now. 
Good. And that's the hardest thing. It probably took me about an hour before I realized how to play this game because you don't play this game like you play SimCity. You don't play this game the same way that you play City Skylines either. You play this game very differently. Uh, if you end up just crashing your buildings together side by side and whatnot, you're going to get yourself into some trouble because your civilians are not going to like it. Now, I'll put a market right there. He might get crowded, but I don't think he will because I think for the most part, people like having markets next to their house. And this will give me a nice little spot for a T-junction over here. And hopefully they don't get the noisy road modifier. If they get the noisy road modifier, we're a little bit hosed. But for now, it should be all right. Now, he's got no shoppers, so we got to get on top of that. Like, we got to do something about it. This is also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So yeah, this road is going to be outside the jurisdiction of the factory, unfortunately. So I'm going to pass a little bit of time. We're going to try and make some money here so that we can build some more stuff. Uh, that's poor, so he needs shopping over here. Is it because that one's full up? That one is full up. Okay. I could add... They're at tolerable right now? That's not good. Tolerable's bad. Tolerable means they're like on the edge of moving out. Is it good? Put me a market right here. We'll kind of see what happens. So we've got a market right there. He should pick up some shoppers in the next couple days. That did hurt our bottom line a little bit. Because he's got 15 shoppers, but I bet it hurt this one over here. Did it? Oh. How come we lost so much money from doing that then? My guess is that it's not actually representing what's happening here. I... So he's got no shoppers. I think we need to focus down here first, but anything we build down here will unfortunately not have access to jobs. And so we got 30 out of 40 workers right there. I'm going to have to build a road somewhere that I don't want to build it. I wish I could swap these two buildings right here, although that would give him crowded, so maybe not. Eh. Let's go ahead and building a road. What does a road cost me on my infrastructure? So we have our budget report right here. We're actually making $2 a day. Hooray, profits! Um, our factory income is 300. That's going to go up as we get more people because it gets 10 per person that works there. Shop income is going to go up as well. Road maintenance. doesn't tell you how many roads you have, but it's probably about 20 per road would be my guess. Let's see what happens to our budget right there. Oh, we're making $1 a day. So it's about a dollar a day for a road. About a dollar a day. Kill that tree, and we... We're going to put in a small housing right here, I think. And we'll see what happens with them. I think they'll be happy, although this one's appalling right now. And it needs shopping? That's surprising to me because we have shopping. We have loads of shopping. Let me see my population count here. So we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So he wants more shopping. Okay, well, we'll kill that. They need employment, but there should be employment right there. Let's drop their rent and see if maybe we can get somebody to move in. Because somebody moving in and paying rent is better than nobody moving in and nobody paying rent. So if I can get a shop in here, they'll be happy. All right, I'll drop a shop. We'll have one drop shopping right here, and hopefully that'll even us out. It did not. It actually hurt us. Although he's at 15 out of 15 too, so I'm thinking something's not being shown here at the moment. Did people actually move in over here? That would be the other problem is nobody's moving in. Although they're on good now, so somebody should move in, I think. There we go. And so now we've managed to, to flip the switch right there. I'm going to leave their rent right where it's at because we're just barely on the precipice right now. And so I'm going to bypass and get a little bit of cash here. And in our first year, we ended up making $210. Not bad, considering the serious light. We used a lot of expenditures. I'm going to raise his rent just slightly. And just hope nobody moves out. And yeah, it looks like we're solid right there. He's at tolerable. Let's go through and look for rent increases that we can do. He's on good. If anybody's on excellent, I'd like to take them up a little bit higher. He's on good. Nobody's at excellent right now. And that's mostly due to the fact that I'm kind of cramming my buildings together in a way that you don't really want to. Uh, they like to basically have nothing on either side of them, or trees on one side of them, or something like that. Makes them a little bit happier. So this factory should be more or less full. If I run a factory down here at the bottom, we'll be in much better shape. But I'm going to farm out some cash for a minute. Alright, so what I basically did is I just waited it out until year three. And actually, I think I was wrong. 
the game does not run on its own because I left the room a minute ago and my money stayed the same. So I'm thinking every time you build something, it counts as a day, maybe. I'm gonna build a road this way. And we're gonna clear out these trees. And I'm really gonna hope that I don't have to build a factory down here because if I do, that is straight trouble. Like, if I gotta build a factory down here, it's gonna be a mess, and I'm thinking I'm gonna have to before I can expand any further. And factories operate on kind of a serious deficit for, like, the first year they're in... They're, the first year that they're actually functioning in this game, they're usually waiting for you to populate the area before you're able to do anything with them. So with what I got going on over here, and I know that's outside of the 10 range that I need, and if I build roads right there, unfortunately, people will get grumpy. I'm wondering if my best plan is just to build a road up here behind it and then fill in the gaps so that they don't get the grumpy debuff. And maybe we'll be able to do something here. Although every time I build a road, maintain, every time I build a road, I'm losing a dollar a day. So I'm still all right right there. I need a few more people to work at the factory for it to be at optimum efficiency. And I definitely need people to live down here too within four squares. So I'm gonna take a risk and build a house right here. We're just gonna wait and see what happens. This might give them a too crowded thing, but it might not. It might not, and we are completely even right now. And as people move in, we should start earning money. So there it is. A couple people moved in right there. They're on good. I can't really drop much else right here aside from parks. Otherwise, these people will get all butthurt and upset. So... Essentially, ooh, that bumped up our factory revenue too. Good, we're making that real money now. Good. I'm glad to see it. Although that should max out our factory, I think. So then we're going to have a problem where people need employment. So I'm thinking our next factory goes right here. That's what I'm thinking, is our next factory goes right here so that we can continue that road. Nobody gets grumpy. Factory's going to be so expensive, though. Oh, is it going to be expensive? It's going to cost us a lot. I know it is. Because we just barely have enough people to work here. Maybe I'll focus on... I don't know. It's a tough call. I don't know what I'm focusing on right now. We're trying to play this. It's a little bit of a puzzle game, too, really. If you get down to brass tacks on it, it's a bit of a puzzle game. I could probably get away... And so our, our population right here is going to bounce around a little bit because there's not going to be jobs for them. But that did increase the amount of money we have pretty pretty wildly, actually. So it looks like we're getting 12 bucks a day. Okay. 12 bucks a day works. I mean, as long as people are still happy, I'm all right with it. I'm not going to mess with rents too much right now because we're sort of on the precipice. Like, I could raise their rent to three. I could raise their rent to three. And we have to wait and see what happens. They might move out, but they might not. Watch our population for a minute. Yeah, they're not moving out or anything like that, so I think they could idle right there. If you're on good, let's raise you up to three. If you're on good, let's raise you up to three. That's what that's what you get. Stop being so happy or I gotta charge you money for it. If you wanna be happy in this life, it's gonna cost you the Cartman rule. At least twenty dollars. At least twenty dollars to be happy in this life. There we go. And so if I can raise money slightly, yeah, that's working quite a bit better. Quite a bit better, because I'm going to have to build a factory, and then I'm going to have the excess money available to kind of drop... i got to have the excess money available to drop some houses in and make it so that the houses can populate the factory almost instantly. Otherwise, the factory's deficit will wipe out our budget almost... I mean, it'll wipe it out within a month or so. So I'm thinking at 10000 bucks, we should be good enough. We should be in a solid spot with $10,000 to make this work. So I'm going to drop a factory in right here. And this factory is going to be trouble. It really sincerely is. Like, we're going to start bleeding cash the second this thing goes up. Uh, because we just don't have the workers for it. I'm going to see how many people go to work there. Surprisingly enough, it's not bleeding cash. It only has two workers, but I expected that to hurt a lot more. Why didn't that hurt? I feel suspicious about this. I feel very suspiciously optimistic at the moment. I'm going to leave those trees where they're at, and I'm going to drop some more houses in out here. If anybody decides that they want to see more markets or anything like that, we'll check them in just a moment. But I think we should be in a solid space right now. Ah, they're on excellent. So we will allow them to move in and start making us money. And because we hit 50 population, we now have access to new buildings. Uh, we have large housing now available. Uh, these people are all happy and good, and it's probably because of these markets over here, maybe? 
Those two are within range, that one is not. And so this market's still hurting us over here. We are gonna have to resolve that pretty soon. But the good news is, it shouldn't be hard to resolve. Uh, actually cancel that. I'm gonna put a market right here. And then I'm gonna clear out these trees, because get out of the way, trees. You're a problem for a- no, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Get out of my way, trees! Nobody wants you around here. Nobody likes trees. Who likes trees? Can't have trees in our city. It's just gotta be one big dirt lot with houses all over it. I'll build a small housing right there. And then, what I'm gonna do here is a little tricksy. Little tricksy. Not super tricksy, but tricksy enough. We're still earning money, correct? As long as we're in the black, I'm happy. Uh, if you don't know what that means, it means that you're making money. I know some of my viewers are younger, and they may not have heard that before. If you're in the red, it means you are totally fiscally fucked, which is super fun to say, because it is alliterative. It's alliterative, so it's fun to say. Aside from that, meh, you know, I'll probably drop another market right here, because there's two roads on either side of a house that get the noisy house debuff, and I'm kind of tempted to do a shop. I'm a little tempted to do a shop, but let's wait on that. Let's wait on that and we'll do a large housing right here. Now I think we're getting to the edge of our water grid too, so that's something else we're gonna wanna watch out for. Uh, they should be fairly happy, and if they're not, what we'll do is we'll drop a park on the corner. Oh, nobody's moving in though. What's wrong with them? Oh, they need water. They're outside the, what? That should be 10 range. Oh, it can only service 50 people. It can only service 50 people. Well, that's a great thing to put right there then. Let's put a reservoir right here. Reservoir is gonna cost us some ducats, though. Reservoir is a little expensive. There we go. But now that we have more people flowing and it shouldn't be that big of a deal, and it's gonna increase our factory income, too, because all of the people that just moved into this place are now going to start working over here. Uh, they're at good, so I can reasonably well adjust them up to five. They're at good, so I can adjust them up to three. That's right, it's rent hike season, bitch. Get ready for it, you're smiling too much. When you're walking around the neighborhood, you're smiling too much. And Daddy Warbucks over here, Daddy Splatty over here, is looking at you and just being like, why are you so happy right now? Why are you so pleased with yourself? You shouldn't be. I don't think you should be. I think you should be upset right now. I'm gonna put in a shop right here. Oh, I don't have enough money, no. The story of my life, just too damn broke to do the things I wanna do. Too damn broke, son. Too damn broke. Uh, that should also help out with our shops in this area as well. And so as soon as we have enough money, Yamo drop another one right here. Because that's going to make our factory even more profitable. Even more profitable. There we go. The first one was a little sketchy. I will agree with you. The first one was probably not where I wanted to be. Oh, we are making so much money right now. This is exactly where I want to be. So these shops, are you maxed out right now? Do you need shopping or are you solid? Because if you're solid, it's time to get this road cooking. Let's do this thing. There we go. Perfect. And that's not going to hurt our bottom line too much. I told you if you hung out, this game is challenging though. It's very easy to go bankrupt in this game. And then once you break even, you can still mess it up by kind of building too fast and just like messing with your own life a little bit. So I'll move this out this way. We are going to need another factory though if we develop in this direction. So my assumption would be that we should just kind of focus in this southeastern direction until further notice. Uh, there's nothing over here on this corner yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some roads cooking right here. So that we have kind of a little, I don't know, a little square area that I can build some stuff. We'll knock over some trees because once again, they're standing in our way. The great Sylvan Vanguard just will not let us develop the way we want to. So get the shit out of here. There you go. Move! Alright, so that's cool. On this side, we can't put anything too important right there because they'll get the noise reduction. But what we can do is every two spaces put in a large housing right here. Oh yes, a large housing in both of these right here just to make us even more money. I'm trying to get this up to like over 100 a day so I don't have to click so much. That's what I'm currently worried about. Oh, and look at those profits. Ain't that a beautiful thing to see. All right, so how's our factory doing? It's actually almost maxed out, weirdly enough. Factory is almost maxed out. I'm gonna raise their rent. I'm gonna raise their rent definitely by like two. 
and we'll kind of see what happens with them. If we start seeing a population drop, we'll know what building to blame because their rent is actually super high. Their rent is crazy high. I'm actually kind of surprised they're tolerating it. And then what I'm going to do... What I'm going to do... What I'm going to do right now... So I'm actually going to drop a shop right there. The drop shop. Uh, and that should make us some money. I'm thinking that will more than likely not cost us money. I hope it won't cost us money. Please don't cost me money. Does it have enough shoppers? Oh, it's only at six shoppers, so we should probably keep this thing cracking. So right here, we're going to put in a large housing. Now, we are going to need another factory to offset the fact that I think we just maxed out both our water grid. No, we just maxed out our factory, though. We definitely just maxed out our factory, and just nothing you can do about that. It's inadequate, so we're going to drop the rent on that by two. And then if people start moving in, we should still end up making money. Like, taking a hit on rent isn't too bad if you get taxable income from one of your factories. Now, this factory right here should be totally zonked. So, yeah, that factory is full up right now. I'm going to move this down this way, and we'll start looking at maybe... I kind of wish I had a spot right here where I could turn the road this way and have it come back up and in and maybe connect right there or something like that. That would probably work out pretty well for what we're trying to do. We could also beautify, like our budget report is actually pretty solid right now. And so since we're making $54 a day, we could put in some parks and make some of our less desirable properties a little bit nicer. Like these ones that are just on tolerable. If we take this and we put in a park right there, it costs us money, but it should raise their happiness within the next few days. So yeah, they should bump up to good, which will actually justify the rent that they're paying right now. And actually maybe allow us to bump them up to four a day. It may also affect these guys, so yeah, we can bump them up to four a day. He's on excellent now, so we can bump him up to four a day. And he's on excellent, so we can bump him up to four a day. And that's basically the way that you want to use parks right there. That's the rough usage for parks is if you have an area... Oh, we're losing population. Ah, it's inadequate now. Okay, so we'll drop that by one. We'll go back through some of these. And if they're all chilling at inadequate, we'll drop them by one. That's it, tolerable. And that one's it, tolerable. And by dropping them by one, it looks like we've gotten our population back. They should be in that nice, sweet equilibrium spot. As far as happiness goes, everybody's moved in and looking good. I don't want to have a fluctuating... I really prefer not to have, like, a fluctuating mass of people, though, living here and there and all over the place. I'm going to put in another bit of housing here. It is going to be expensive, and we actually don't have jobs for them right now. But we will in just a moment, because I'm, I'm going to put another factory on this block right here. So we'll clear that tree out. I like this game, but then again, I like clicker games. And so because I'm a sucker for clicker games, stuff like this tends to grab me because, I don't know. When you're playing building games, a lot of the time it feels like you're just paintbrushing shit all over the place. In this game, you actually have to, like, do something in order to earn your money. Are we still in the black? We're still in the black, but by how much? It feels like it's lower. It's at 38. Okay. Uh, are these people moving out, or are these people still good? But these people are right on the edge. I'm going to keep it that way. I think the park cost is money is what it comes down to. That first park, what did that cost us? 300 per park. Holy bejeebus. That is beyond expensive. What is a park effect, though? Oh, it's 10 per day. So, yeah, it's 300 a month. Ow. That hurts. That hurts. Not going to lie. It hurts. I don't know why I would lie about something as trivial as that, but trust me. I don't know. Sometimes the lies come out. Let's put another factory on this corner. It'll cost us a little bit of money, but we're about to do some pretty hardcore growth. Yeah, so we'll go a large house right here. We are going to max out our water grid pretty soon as well, I think. And so, well, it's close. Let me take a look. So we're at 38 out of 50. Nah, we're solid. Pretty solid right there, actually. And so I'll build a small housing right there. And they should all be reasonably well happy. We're almost at 100. We're going to unlock some more stuff when we get to 100. So I'm going to pull this episode out a little bit longer because I like it. It's a satisfying little game. If you want to play this, it's totally free. I'll have a link for you down below. This game does not cost money. And yet in a lot of ways, it's better than a lot of games that I play on a weekly basis that actually cost you some of that stuff that you worked for. And so, uh... You know, all around. If it's free, I'll go a lot easier on it, because it's free. Like, you don't lose anything by jumping into this. Uh, we are making some pretty serious guap right now. Making some scratch. Uh, he is... I don't know. He's intolerable, which is a little weird to me. 
Maybe I'll plant a tree right here or something. Maybe that'll make them feel better here. I have a tree right there. There you go. Will that make you feel better? Does a tree help? I bet a tree helps. I bet a tree will make it all better. His rent's also a little high, so let's drop that slightly. Their rent's at two a day, and they're at tolerable. I don't know what it is that they want right now. Water's a little maxed out, so my suggestion would be... We either drop a water tower right here. Yeah, a water tower right there is workable. That is going to dig into our pockets a tiny bit, though, because it's infrastructure, so it costs money. How badly did that hurt me? Looks like we're getting about 40 a day right now. 60 a day. Sorry, I'm bad at maths. Bad at mathematics is... We could loop this back this way, too. And I don't think another market on that corner would hurt us. So that we can actually have the road turn right here. So we'll do a little T-junction on this side. And see, there's a trick to it. Like, you don't, you only want to build roads next to stuff that roads don't affect. Uh, you only, it, there was a lot of thought that went into this game. I'm really surprised, like, how much thought went into this game. It's a very thoughtful little indie game that performs better than a lot of other city builders that I've played. No, no fuss, no mess right there. I've played other city builders that are head and shoulders worse than this game. And for whatever reason, this one does a great job. He's already earning $8 a day. That's what I love to see. That's what I absolutely love to see. Let's go ahead and beautify with a park right here. You can convert a tree into a park if you want to, because I'm about to bulldoze this one. Just hoping nobody notices. I can drop a large housing right there, which should help out a little bit. Although that water right there might be maxed out. Is it? It's maxed out. So I'm going to have to double up on infrastructure up here, which is bad. So water, employment, and shopping. Let's give him two clicks and see what resolves itself. Yeah, he needs shopping. So let's put in a bigger shopping area right here. We'll put in a... We'll put a normal size shop for now. We unlocked the large shop, but I'm not quite sure we have the throughput for a large shop yet. Like, it takes 100 shoppers, if I recall correctly. And yeah, that actually hurt our money a little bit. He should be earning a little bit more, but we are... Only making 11 a day right now, which means we want to be careful with the way we spend our cash. Uh, he needs water, so water is going to be the next advancement. You know, I'm going to focus down here. I'm going to focus down here because this is a little bit safer down here before I start fiddling with shit. Let's clear this. I actually have water infrastructure already built down here, so I don't see a reason to kind of like hog tie myself by going crazy with other stuff. That should help out with our growth. Yeah, there it goes. So that's going to bring us up a little bit so that we're earning some more cash. If they're on good, $4 a day is fantastic. I am going to demolish that. And this right here is going to be a road to somewhere. I haven't decided where just yet. But it'll go somewhere. I mean, it's kind of depressing. You can't sell, you know. It's hard to sell in a city a road that goes nowhere, you know what I mean? So this guy should start earning money pretty rapidly too, I think. Oh, he did not actually. So we're going to have to wait this one out and earn a little bit of cash. i got to put in a couple more buildings so that we're not... Oh, it's because of this building right here. That's why. And that shoppers, they're getting eaten up. Yep. Actually, all of these are. So I'd be better off if I just bulldoze this right here, in all fairness. There you go. Save myself some money every single day. If you've got dead buildings that aren't doing anything, I highly suggest you just get rid of them. It'll, it'll save you some fuss. Should have water over here. How's that looking? We're on 11 right there. And that should be linked up with the other one. I think I could drop a... Uh, he'll probably get crowded if I do that. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I gotta do something with this, but I can't decide exactly what it is. I'll think about it in the next episode. My name is Splattercat. This game is called City Clickers. If you wanted to see more of this game, uh, let me know. Be very vocal about it. I'm looking forward to showing off more of it to you, so if you want to see more, Please, I want to play more, so, you know, let me know. I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody.